Mary, Mother of Christ, asked us to pray the rosary for peace. Peace in the world, in our hearts, our homes, and cities.
last couple of months I've been spending a fair amount of time visiting Russ Holmes and the uh, I'll be singing songs like You Are My Sunshine and some others that might be on my home page like Take the Time to Talk to Jesus and things like that. And I played that because the uh, face in here uh, was the granddaughter of one of the patients. I used uh, her name is Hannah Mark. She's a lovely young actress. And the grandmother's name is uh, Nora Davis. She's one of the really, truly wonderful people that I've been blessed to meet in my life. She's Jewish. She loves the Bible. She'll read the Old and New Testaments to the different patients and the choir Bibles to give to them. She's very open about religion. And, and interested in peace in the world. So she inspired me to develop this painting in this manner, where I have peace here in her heart, the Star of David, and the Islam moon, and the crucifix that forms a rosary that surrounds Mary's face. And the, uh, it seems like the children of Abraham, both the uh, the Jewish people, the Christians, and the Muslims have a tendency to fight one another. And they're, I'm hoping that by praying to Mary that we might help cease that fight in a bit. And that the, uh, the painting at the top says, Mary appeared saying, pray the rosary for peace. She's done that a number of times at Fatima, majority, and these words say, we should say the rosary down on our bended knees for peace. Mary, please intercede with Jesus Christ for us. Mary's heart overflows with God's love for us, faith, grace, gentle kindness, and a mother's love. Some of the lines are from the song you just heard, and that's her love flowing down from her heart. And from the crucifix, it is red, which represents the blood of Christ. And also the blood of too many people who die in these senseless wars. May the light of God's love enter the hearts of all of Abraham's children. May we live in peace. Fill your hearts with God's love, not fear of the devil in others. Reserve your heart space for Jesus Christ. Others may think of reserving that heart space for God, Allah, or what have you. May our love of Jesus Christ be the pulse beat of our heart. May we do our parts, obey Christ's commands of love, living by the golden rule. One of my missions in life is to promote the idea of uh, Christ's commands of love. There's a beautiful clarity in it, too. Love God most of all, love your neighbor as you love yourself. Some of the problems we have in the world is people don't like themselves. They don't like anybody else either. And the, uh, the golden rule you'll find in Luke, in the, in the Gospel, and it was one of Christ's quotes, and do unto others as you'd have them do unto you. And if we live that way, we wouldn't have half the problems that we do have with greed and a great number of other problems. And the, uh, I joined a, a group called the Legion of Mary, and if you have one in your church, they probably need members. Most of the members are old. We need new young members. Um, and it enriched my life from the viewpoint my sunshine in that song is Mary, and I have a great love for her. Um, she was Christ's first disciple. You'll find that I've written a great number, not a great number, but a fair number of songs dealing with her. And I lean on her when I work with people who are ill, like Carly and Susie and, and a whole bunch of others. And the, uh, I don't regard myself as anything special in that. I'm just one of the many who pray for these people. I, I pray by doing prayer paintings and writing songs and offering them up as... Uh, and often for their well-being. And uh, they say if you sing, you pray twice. So if you sing and paint, maybe I'm praying three times. 
but put a lot of time and love into it. And the uh, I'm inspired uh, by Mary and by Jesus, and um, I have this wonderful feeling inside that comes from loving God and. People who love God normally are happy. I was thinking of writing a song, you know, smile if you love God. Don't let anybody wipe that smile off your face, but goodness knows they, they surely will try. And the, uh, But he'll keep it there. Now once again, may I recommend you join the Legion of Mary. It, it helped me immensely. It enriched my spirituality and deepened my love of Mary had me going to Mass daily and receiving communion and saying the rosary every day and doing my rest home things with the patients there. Though for some reason it appears like I'm being banned from the one in Pacific Grove. I befriended Nora, Nora whose granddaughter I used in here and, and uh, they got upset I think when I brought this painting in they thought that I had given it to her. I just wanted to share it with her. They might not have liked the Star of David or the Islam Moon. I'm not sure why. They said something about me uh, giving her rise. Well, her rabbi was in one day and invited her to a birthday party. After he left, she asked me to take her to the bank so she'd get $100 to give him. The next day, she uh, asked me to take her to deliver the $100 to the rabbi. I brought her over to my home one time just to show her the painting. And, and uh, there was somebody who was creating problems for me in this area. And um, let them do it. I just do my thing, be honest, and love God. And forgive them. But once again, please say the rosary. I spoke to Father Paul about someday in October. He's our pastor, good Irish priest, about when we have rosary after mass, sometimes we'll only have two peoples. On uh, days when we have adoration, we may have up to over a dozen. Uh, but I said, let's fill up the church. One day, give one day a year anyway, for a start to Mary. There was a, a prayer priest a long time ago. If he'd fill up a town square with hundreds and hundreds of people all saying the rosary. We need to do that again. Mary asked us to. Let us do that. It will help bring peace in the world. And in your heart, in your homes, and in your cities. <laughs>